Hello, so this is just a quick introduction to the uh, Robotics Connection Trackster unit. Um, I have videos of it actually being built that we'll post later, but at this time I just want to give you a high level view of what the Robotics Connection Trackster 2 unit does for you. Now, at first you can just tell it's a, a track driven unit. Um, it's got four wheels, but two tracks, and of course it works just like a tank, so alternating the direction of the tracks turns it, turns it forward, backwards, etc. etc. Um, it's got a nice platform on the top to mount many different things uh, with pre drilled holes, which seems to be pretty good. What we often find with the Robotics Connection is that they offer this, this aluminum plate that we have here that we're actually building something for. Um, this is a little extensive, doesn't actually go for this unit, but it is an example of what the plate looks like. And that goes mounted nicely here with pre drilled holes. The nice thing about this unit here, or this plate that you can buy straight off their website, is it also comes with pre-drilled holes, and it's also very easy to drill holes right into it. Um, we use just basic drill bits from uh, Dewalt, and it, it just screws, uh, you know, drills right through without a problem. As you can see, you can mount lots of different components. You don't have to go with the pre-drilled stuff; you can just go with your own. Um, like in this case, we went with a bunch of different uh, components on this one. Either way, you put them here and they actually can stack on top of each other with a bunch of uh, standoffs. You can do varying lengths and whatnot, all of which you can see on the actual tutorial and the review of the tractor unit, which it shows us with various different versions of this. The other part that's nice about this unit <coughs> is that it's good construction, uh, very solid, very, very tough. However, this is not, I wouldn't recommend this for an outdoor unit at all, simply because of these tracks. They're plastic, they're not rubberized. When you're actually building it, they recommend coating it in a, in a uh, rubber, uh, you know, the, the type of stuff that you use for your pliers that you, you know, kind of like re-dip them for, uh, to give it a new grip, they recommend doing that on these. We did not um, because it took us a lot of time to put these actually together. So now, as you can see, you know, here's the front, and then the side view, and the back right there. These holes here are, are pre-drilled already for your on-off switches for whatever you might want. Um, the other part is, let's take a look inside the actual unit. As you can see, there's plenty of room inside. Now, as per their instructions, they recommend actually mounting their microcontroller within this, which is fine. You know, you can go ahead and follow that. Well, we found that that's actually more troublesome than anything else, simply because when you're working with robotics, everything is so custom that you don't, you know, you'll want to have easy access to your things. And we'll show you other videos of how to get, you know, how to build robotics modularly. That way, it's it's easier for you to work with. Um, but as you can see, it's only driven by two DC motors here and here, uh, built in. Now these have built-in encoders, from my understanding, and these are just the the power, the power cables themselves. That's it. Uh, it's very simple. You know what we did is we originally had mounted and we followed all the instructions from Robotics Connection and we actually mounted everything inside and we started mounting things on the outside. What we found we took it quickly. We we, we took it out quickly um, and uh, we quickly started mounting them things up here. Um, that's about it. Our total time of construction for the actual unit itself was very fast. Except the only part that does actually took us a long time were these tracks. These tracks took us an extensive amount of time to build, put together simply because you put each link one by one. So just imagine there's about maybe, I would say about 30 or so links on each side. So it does take some time. Sit down and get ready to, you know, get ready to have a, a ball with those things. That's actually what you have to do. Um, that's about it. And I hope you enjoyed this quick review of the uh, Robotics Connection Trackster. Um, again, it's a fairly good unit. Um, the only thing is, uh, it is a little pricey compared to other units out there, but considering the construction of this, if you want something that's going to last you a long time, it's definitely worth it. You know, we actually use two different units, this one being one of them, and then uh, Lynx Motion being another, which is one for indoor, one for outdoor, which is, they've served us very well. This moves easily over tile, carpet, um, many different surfaces. Outdoors, I wouldn't recommend it. Take care, we'll see you next time.